but uh, of course, preachers like to make it Russia, China, uh, you know, Bin Laden, um, I don't know, uh, who's that guy in Venezuela, what's his name? Uh, Chavez. Chavez, I don't know, but uh, that's the problem with this literature. You can interpret it any, any way you want, and people like to apply it to their own time, obviously. So do the people who wrote it. Their time. So let's do it their time, not ours. Uh, so it had three ribs. Okay, three kings for the Medes. Up oh, came the command, eat quantities of flesh. After this I looked and saw another beast. It's not very mystifying literature. Like a leopard, Persian. With four birds' wings on its flanks and its foreheads, and power was given to it. The four kings of Persia, literally, I think, are Cyrus, Darius, Xerxes, and Artaxerxes. So what do Cyrus. Darius, Xerxes, and Artaxerxes. Go see the 300. <laughs> it's all in there. So. <laughs> Read the 300. Hey, man, you got it all out there in cartoon form. <laughs> Artisan. I, 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 I want to keep moving. I want to write it on there, okay? It's not so important. Okay. Cyrus, C-Y-R-U-S, Darius, D-A-R-I-U-S, Xerxes, X-E-R-X-E-S. You should have learned this in sixth grade. <laughs> Artaxerxes, A-R-T-E-X-E-R-X-E-S. Didn't they teach this in sixth grade anymore? Don't they teach ancient history? No, I guess they teach minority uh, history. <laughs> oh, wow. I'm not against minority history, you know, and so on, but you should teach classical history still. Something has to get the boot, obviously. You're going to bring in some other stuff. Okay, never mind. Boot this out. Uh, we got to do it here. So the leopard is four birds, wings, that's perfect. Next, I saw another vision. These always end at the same point. The fourth beast. This is always the big shot. We had it up. Are you waving to me? You're going yeah, now? Yeah. You're, you're leaving? Are you? <laughs> the fourth beast, fearful, terrifying, very strong. It had great front teeth. It ate crush, trample underfoot. What remained was different from the previous beast. It had ten horns. This fourth beast is always Alexander the Great. Now, we love Alexander. He's beautiful. He looks like us. He's got blonde hair. He looks like a Greek god. Uh, you know, and so on. He was actually a little guy. He was about five feet six. You know, he had a chip on his shoulder and stuff like that. He might have been good looking. They tried to make him look like Apollo or something in all the coins. I don't know what he, how good looking he was or he wasn't, but he always looked like Elvis Presley to me. <laughs> If you look at the coins, it looks like Elvis Press. Are you going? Is that you have to go? Go, go! You two get out of here. You're getting, you're taking too long. Where are you going? We yeah, have rehearsal. What are you rehearsing? Anything good? Greek tragedy or something? No, we're singers. What are you singing? It's for a coffee house thing. It's coffee like, house thing. Guys, you're welcome. Uh, sort of like uh, indie, indie rock kind of stuff. Yeah. No, no. Oh, it's, okay. it's a little jazz, it's spiritual. Oh, ah, okay. Fine, you know. Fine. Swing low, sweet chariot, sort of yeah. thing. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> See you next week. Thank you. All right. Well, don't forget to remember who uh, that Alexander looked like Elvis Presley. We forgot. Yeah. If you see the portraits of him, he looks like Elvis. He's got the curl of lip too. Elvis wasn't really that good looking. He had a he, he had a kind of sneer on his face. He wasn't bad. Anyway, never mind. But the last kingdom here is always Alexander. And then it divides up into the four kingdoms after he dies. So when did Alexander come? He came to the Middle East. These are really easy dates. 333 BC. And uh, he died. These are really easy dates. 323 BC after endless campaigning, going all the way to the Indus River, uh, having almost killed in one of the sieges out there. What's the name of that jerk who makes movies? That anti-war guy? Stone. What? Uh, Oliver Stone. Hey, Oliver Stone. Oliver Stone. That's, that was probably the worst movie ever made. 
except perhaps for what was that one about Achilles they made recently with uh, <laughs> Troy? I tell you, yeah, Brad Pitt. I mean, Oliver Stone's Alexander probably was worse than Troy with Brad Pitt. You know, these are two of the worst movies ever made. In any case, if you saw Oliver Stone's movie, you'll see that uh, Alexander was fighting in Vietnam someplace in the jungles with elephants and all this kind of stuff. I don't know where he got those scenes from, but. He, he fought all the way to India, and he fought one battle where he really was grievously wounded in uh, what's today's Pakistan. And he, 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 he just just barely escaped with his life, because he liked to fight. He liked to be in the front. He liked to inspire his troops, not like George Bush or anything. He liked <laughs> to get out there in the front lines, you know. Now, McCain, McCain would be out there. That's certainly true. And uh, McCain is what everything George Bush isn't. You know, if you want to get the opposite of Bush, look at McCain, who he destroyed in the first uh, in the first election in the first e election they had together. So, whereas Bush shirked, McCain went and became a prisoner. Whereas Bush was supposed to fly, McCain actually flew, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Et cetera. I don't want to show you all the contrast there. But anyway, having said that, Bush isn't as bad as some people make him out. But in any case, Alexander liked to fight. If he didn't like it, he liked to inspire his men by doing it. And Caesar actually took a, a leaf from Alexander. You have to, in those days, be in the front line. You have to fight with your men. Otherwise, they're not going to die for you. You know, you have to be willing to die for what they are going to die for. You can't sit back there and just send them out there. And, and, and that was the big thing about both Alexander and Caesar, if you've ever watched these ancient uh, successful uh, military leaders and so on. But he made a mistake, he went really far. So he got very sick, he came back to uh, Ir Persia where he had established his uh, uh, center of his empire and he uh, trying to mix Greeks and Persians, he wanted his officers to marry Persian women, there was a lot of resistance, he was going to do some more campaigning in the Arabian Peninsula and he was probably assassinated. Uh, uh, he was poisoned pretty clear that he was poisoned. And he died in 323 under very suspicious circumstances. Uh, uh, he was trying to make a uh, cosmopolitan empire that his, that his men just didn't want to fight anymore. They didn't want to go any further. They'd gone far enough. And um, the Hellenization that he wanted, the mixing of the civilizations. Uh, so remember, we're going to talk about Hellenization now uh, when we get into the Maccabees. Because Hellenization is what the Maccabees are fighting against. Hellenization is what Alexander introduces. Now, Hellenization is different. To Hellenize is not the same.